Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna do some cute, simple Dollar Tree DIYs for Christmas. I'm using white, red, and moss paint. I'm using this um, Halloween sign that I got from Dollar Tree and some twine and some beads. And you're gonna first start by taking the hanger off of your sign. Um, we're not gonna, or at least I'm not gonna be hanging this sign. I covered the back of the sign with the moss green paint. I ended up doing two coats. It gave pretty good coverage. And just make sure that you not only cover the whole um, back of the sign, but the sides too, because you can see them. I love the green moss. I thought this screamed Christmas. And this is one of my go-to paints. It's one of my favorite colors to use. So give the back of that sign a real good coat and then you can start on your beads. I didn't want my beads to be perfect. I wanted them to look like old, like they've been around a little bit. So I just put five of them on this little plastic plate and just started dabbing them with the red um, Waverly chalk paint. I used brown beads because I liked that you could see the brown through it. It gave it that more country I think farmhouse look. And then I did the same thing on the other five beads. I coated them with a nice coat of white paint. I only did one coat. One coat was perfect because you could see the brown coming through. Once the sign had dried, I just used a ruler and a Sharpie and I drew two lines coinciding with the grooves of the sign um, just to give it more of that like pilot wood um, look. I didn't do anything else to it. I printed this off of my um, cameo. It says, love you to the North Pole and back. I actually seen this sign at Big Lots and I wanted to recreate it. The sign at Big Lots was to hang pictures from. Since this is a Dollar Tree sign, it wasn't as big and I opted to not put the twine around the edges to hang the pictures. Now you can use a print, um, Google image print out if you want it. If you have a Cricut or a Cameo, this works perfect. Or you could even freehand the words on this or use a stencil. There's so many options. I just thought I would take advantage of using my silhouette to put this on here. And I absolutely adore the saying. So then you're gonna start putting your beads on your twine. I keep my twine on the roll while I do this because when you're adding the beads, sometimes it will fray at the edges and that way I can cut the um, ends of it as I go to give me a fresh you know, new start with the twine and then keep adding beads. And if it frays again, I can cut. That's why I keep it on the roll while I'm doing this. Um, that way I can have the exact amount of length of the twine that I need. So I did not fill in the holes on the sign for a reason. I am going to use that twine that I put the beads on and I am going to use the original holes to feed that twine through. And I just used a popsicle stick on the back to secure the back of the holes. And there it is. So cute. I can't wait to display this for Christmas. I absolutely love the sign. I love the prayer beads hanging from it. I love the saying on it. And I love that moss color. I hope you enjoyed project number one. So let's get ready for project number two. For project number two, we are going to create this Christmas tree. And I am going to be using some Waverly chalk paint in black. Yes, that is a plunger, toilet plunger from Dollar Tree. Some Dollar Tree, it's like that Christmas greenery that you fill in the Christmas trees with. And I had this red star and some buffalo check ribbon for the bows. So you're going to take these. I don't know, Christmas tree, what do you call them? I took the tag off and I can't remember what they were called. Dollar Tree sells like their own Christmas trees and these are just like extra tree branches that you can use to fill in the trees to make them, you know, more 
full and look a little more filled in. So I, they come in packets at Dollar Tree and I'm just taking them and lining them up. I put my tape measure out to 16 inches because that is the length of the plunger handle. It actually is probably about 17 inches because my measurement skills are poor. <laughs> so I did have to cut two more. But I'm lining these up and I'm just eyeballing it. I'm doing rows of two. So the first two are the same length. Then I'm taking the next two and I'm just cutting a little bit off of the ends. Those two will be the same length. And I'm gonna continue going all the way up, trimming them smaller than the ones before to form a Christmas tree. I used wire cutters. It was perfect. You could even use a little bit of, um, if you needed just to cut a little bit more greenery off, you can even use your scissors. So like I said, groups of two, just keep going up the measuring tape and making the next group smaller than the ones before. And like I said, my measurement was a little bit off. It's probably not, I measured 16. I bet that pole is about 16 and a half because I had to do two more. For some reason, I lost the footage. I painted the plunger black. I painted the base black and I painted the handle black. It actually went on so good. Only took one coat and I just covered it all in, in the um, folk art black chalk paint. So now we're gonna start attaching them to the plunger handle. At first, I tried this with the plunger standing up and because the tree branches are pretty thin, I was burning my fingers. So I decided to tr attempt this laying the plunger down. And I am just eyeballing the gap in between. I didn't like measure it out on the plunger handle. I'm just giving it probably about, what would you say, inch and a half gap. And I started at the bottom and then I went to the top and hot glued it in a straight line going all the way up. I didn't, I wanted this to be a flat tree. I did not want it to be round. That is why I'm doing it this way. Um, I just think it's unique and cute and won't look like any of your other tree decor in your house. So it's very original and I'm loving the way it's turning out right now. So for this next step, you're going to use some of your branches you have left over. You're going to cut them probably about four or five inches, maybe three or four inches long. And you're going to go underneath and then over the top of the center of the plunger handle, covering the tree branches that you've hot glued to the handle. Um, hot glue would not hold these on here alone and this is a great way to keep these branches secure they're um, bendable so you can go 
in the bottom over the top and then I just squeezed it around the back to secure the branches. I did this going all the way up the Christmas tree. Now it's time to make your bows. I'm using this buffalo check ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm just tying them into small little bows and hot gluing them to the ends of the branches. I'm doing every other branch because I didn't want it to be overkill. If I just think it would be too much if you did every branch. So I left the bottom branch um, blank and started with the second row and added a buffalo check bow to every other branch going up to the top. This is a little red bell or star ornament that I got gotten from Big Lots last year. I think they came in a pack of like five or six. And I'm using that as the star on top of the Christmas tree. I am coming back in with the buffalo check ribbon and I'm just going to hot glue it around the base of the plunger. I never was before, but for some reason lately, I am just in love with flocked looking Christmas trees. So I thought it would be cool to take some Waverly white chalk paint and just dry brush some white onto these tree branches. I think it makes the tree pop and come alive and just, you know, like I always say, it gives it some added cuteness. And there it is. I love this tree. I love that it was made out of a toilet plunger from Dollar Tree. And it's unique and it's fun. And I don't know, maybe I'm partial, but I think it's super cute. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up so I know I'm doing it right. And I have many more DIY Christmas tutorials in store for y'all. So... I hope y'all had a wonderful and blessed day. I'll see you again soon, y'all. Bye.